Right, so this is my new hit and miss engine sent to me by Banggood. It came in this uh, strong, heavy duty cardboard box with some very thick, dense foam inside, cut out exactly for the engine. Um, if you get this one, make sure you open the box top and bottom or pull the um, packaging out with the engine in it first and carefully prise the foam apart and carefully push the engine out so that you don't damage any of the precision parts. And I say that because the engine is a very tight fit in that foam and you don't want to damage anything. You can see that it's very thick and it won't actually get damaged in the post but you don't want to actually damage it when you actually get it out from the packaging. My first impressions when I got the engine out of the box was that it's absolutely stunning. And I've seen several people's reviews of this engine, but when you actually get your own one, it's absolutely outstanding. And the precision engineering that's gone into making it is totally incredible. And I really wouldn't like to try and make something like this and sell it for the price that they actually sell it for. So when I first got it out of the box I checked it over and I oiled all the working parts with engine oil. This is my excellent little oil can here with a brass top that I've got and I've made this stand because it kept falling over being such a narrow oiler. But it's ideal for oiling this engine up. And I did actually turn the engine over and oil inside the um, cylinder top and then back over and on the underside. And then all the working parts that I could see moving when I actually turn the engine over. The ignition system runs from three AA batteries in this compartment here and I've seen several people's reviews where they say to use two new batteries and one that's uh, partially run down or a dud one or a dummy one so I've used that, I've used two new batteries and this one here was actually um, run down um, I don't know why they say that, um, maybe it uh, just runs better all together but I've done it, what they've said and it seems to work perfectly so that's what I did. And I made this um, board up out of a piece of solid walnut to actually hold the engine because when you actually um, start it up like I showed at the beginning of the video you have to hold it because it jumps about all over the place with the actual compression and the actual movement of the engine. And I hope to actually remake this box out of something a bit better um, in the future if I get the time. This is pine and I don't really like pine. I don't think it actually does this engine justice. So like I say, I think I'll remake this one um, better out of mahogany or oak or something really nice, which is dark and makes the engine stand out nicely. Incidentally, this is my vintage rule that I've just picked up and it folds out like that. It's made by, um, let me see now, uh, J. Rabone and Sons. It's a vintage rule and it's got um, like uh, the industry it obviously came from or was given out at. This was Universal um, Metallic Packing at Bradford. I don't know whether that company is still in existence, I doubt it. But it's a really nice little rule to actually look out for in car boot sales or whatever. It actually clips out like that, so you've got a 12 inch roll like that. So when I put the batteries in I filled it up with lighter fuel which it seems to run on really nicely and it was only within a few minutes that the engine was actually going and I was actually really pleased with that. And I never actually knew anything about a hit and miss engine until I actually got this model. So this was the first one I've actually seen and taken notice of. Um, now I know that there's um, several in the area which are, are put into like steam rallies or whatever. And I'll be looking forward to having a look at those in the future. 
so you fill the tank up here and it's handy if you do actually use the uh, lighter fuel because it's got a very good thin spout which fits into the actual fuel tank there easily and the time um, that it took to actually just run the uh, fuel through that was the actual time it took to actually get this engine going so it's only a few minutes and the jet here on the carburetor I had it set at quarter of a term which is what they say in the instructions and it does actually come with this basic instruction paper this A4 paper about the hit and miss complete engine the M90 it doesn't say anything about oiling up the parts um, when you actually get it so remember to actually do that and it doesn't actually mention this decompression button here it was after several days that I noticed this one and I actually turned the um, motor off um, with uh, using this decompression and then turn it off with a switch but that one there you can actually run it over without any compression at all so press that one in and it's freewheeling like that and I was also totally amazed at this tiny little spark plug on the cylinder head here and if it doesn't fire up fairly quickly you can actually pull this um, silicone um, cap off of the spark plug here and just check that the um, cable there or the actual bare wires are actually in contact with the top of the spark plug so that's one thing to look for if you get the engine it's a nice tight fit on there and you can actually get it nicely on the end of that um, spark plug if you're careful and uh, as you would have seen at the beginning of the video the actual box section here is for water cooling and you can actually run the engine without water in that one for a period of time just check that you don't get it too hot but it is actually best to put the water in it and keep it really nice and cool the engine parameters are it's 180 millimeter long 125 millimeter high and 125 millimeter wide the displacement is 6 cc the cylinder diameter is 22 millimeter and it has an overall weight of 1610 grams and one thing I always do if I get anything now is I always actually photostat the instructions and keep a copy on the computer and also produce a working copy like this one here. So now I'll finish with the start up and I'll just see what the RPM is running at.
So I'm absolutely thoroughly pleased with this lovely engine. It's a brilliant piece of kit. It's a great showpiece and I hope to show loads of people um, for whatever lifetime I've got left. And then I hope to hand it down to a member of my family.